Gordon Hayward. As a coach, what have you kind of said to him as he makes his return to Utah? You know, I think obviously he spent seven great years here and it meant a lot to him and, and his family. And without question, there's going to be extra, um, you know, extra emotions that go into that for him. And so, um, you know, the best that we can, you focus on what you can control and you go from there. But I don't think it's, uh, I think it'd be uh, not human to not recognize there will be extra emotions attached to this. Is there anything you as a coach can do to help calm or ease or I mean, we've all we've all lived um, homecomings of sorts, and I think that um, you know everybody handles those the way they handle them. And I think that you know there's you know obviously as time goes by, um, you know it, it may get easier and easier. But the first time back is always a little bit unique, and um, he'll handle it. He'll handle it a good team. Does uh, does Terry start tonight? He does. Um, you know, you've talked to him about pressing. Does getting the start, starting opportunity maybe help him stretch out a little bit and just? Well, obviously he'll play more minutes, most likely, um, because it's you know there's there's more minutes to be had at that spot, and I think that anytime you have that, you're probably less likely to press. I thought he did a really good job last night, uh, made a lot of the right plays, and um, you know, hey, we as as I said the other day, um, you know, him um, adjusting to that new spot and the ups and downs that come with it is as predictable as it comes. And so I think that that's just part of it. He's a really good player. Everybody knows he's a really good player. And, uh, and that's why, like I said, we're not going to change um, our plan of attack with him. When Kyrie's not available, he'll start. And, um, you know, when he is, he'll come off the bench. What has Gordon added, you know, to the team since he's been back with you guys and, you know, through these first few games? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously Gordon's transitioning back into playing. Um, and transitioning back with us. He's still on a minutes um, restriction. I think one of the things that we've got to do a better job of as a group is put all of our guys in a position to be more successful within their strength. He brings a lot of strengths to the table off of general actions and pick and rolls where he can be the, a playmaker for others as well as himself. And I think that early on, um, you know, I think we've done a, a decent job, but I think we could do a lot better as a staff in helping. Um, and so, Hopefully, um, that'll be the case. And, you know, we didn't expect this to be an overnight thing. Does right. the minutes restriction change given the amount of back back? No, this was all part of it. This is the this is kind of the, the litmus test. It's the second night of a back to back at the same level he's been playing. So, um, should be about the same, uh, somewhere in that 23 to 26 minute range. Brad, kind of a big picture question, but the three point shooting is once again up higher in the league this year. And I'm curious, five years, 10 years down the road, What's the end game here? How much further can this keep going? 28, 30 feet, I would say, <laughs> yeah. would be the answer that I would give. I think that um, when you think about how people now shoot it so freely off the dribble, um, how, how they shoot it off the move, how bigs can be going away from um, the basket and set their feet and, and make a 23-footer, I just think it's going to continue. Range is going to continue to be expanded. And it's going to be um, an even bigger emphasis to defend it. And I think that's one of the things that makes it so hard is, you know, um, layups are, I'm sure, are up as well. Um, and I'm not, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm guessing they're up compared to 10 or 15 years ago. Because you have to guard so much more space, and um, it's really hard to do it. And so I think that you know, I'd be shocked if it, if it stopped anytime soon. Right, you talked about it when obviously he was in Boston a lot, but when you were trying to build this thing kind of from the ground up, the impact Jay Crowder had kind of buying in and getting other guys to buy in and stuff like that. Yeah, Jay, I mean, Jay, um, along with, um, you know, a lot of his teammates, I thought um, did an unbelievable job, and he's continued that here. I think he's having, um, from what I see from afar, his best start of a season. I just think he looks really comfortable. He's in a great system. Fits exactly what um, Quinn wants to do, and and he can play off the bounce, play as a stretch four. He can guard a number of positions. We've talked about it all the time. Our, our our desire as a team was to become more versatile, and there was a time when Jay was our guy that was our very most versatile. Um, and um, and I think that there's a reason why his game looks so good and translates so well to, as Reed mentioned, this this kind of stretched out NBA. What's your thoughts on, on Coach Snyder? You guys, you know, two of the emerging young coaches in the league. What's your, what's your thoughts on what he's been able to do here? With yeah, he's as good as it gets. Um, you know, all the stuff that they run, defense.
kinds of stuff. Um, the individual instruction, the thought, thoughtfulness that he puts into it. We're on a committee together, and I get to um, sit next to him and um, you know just listen to how he, he goes about things. And he's as good as he gets. Which committee? Jalen. Okay. Took a shot to the ribs last night. He is. He was issues? a little. I think he was a little sore, but he's good to go as far as playing goes. What are the reasons for your elite transition defense? Um. <laughs> We haven't gotten to the rim enough on offense. <laughs> There's probably a lot of tie there. I mean, when you when you get shots blocked at the rim, you tend to be a bad transition team. When you don't get the rim at all, you don't tend to get shots blocked. So um, we need to get to the rim more and get back on defense the way we are. Um, put a lot of emphasis to it. We tried to put a lot more emphasis on offensive rebounding recently. I thought we did a better job yesterday. I think you can do both. Um, but if you're if you're sloppy at the rim, which against these guys is really important with Gobert's presence at the rim, then you allow runouts, and if you allow runouts, you're cooked.